Hadi. Bunun da bak gel bunun. Eee. Sparta. Ne onu çık Sparta. Ne trenden çık Sparta bak. Ne trenden çık Sparta. Ne trenden çık Sparta in the next few weeks. Ooo. Eee. Ya ya ya. Alright. Okay. Okay my boy. Doesn't sound safe. Just trying to see if uh, the rear tire is okay here. It almost looked like it was flat, but it's okay, I think. Alright. Just uh, switched uh, switched on the GoPro here. Uh, uh, I think the last time I cycled through here which was last week on Sunday. Um, just went off, I ran out of battery power. I think somewhere around this stretch, maybe just about 10, maybe 20 minutes from here. So I figured out uh, switch it on. Phew! Alright So I'm, I'm probably going to stitch this thing together with uh, footage from last week and you probably notice uh, some subtle differences like uh, I think I was finding it extremely difficult to cycle and that's because uh, prior to that day I think the last time I cycled was probably a month before uh, so I was pretty much trying to adjust if you will Today it's pretty different. I mean, I was, I was surprised that by the time I was getting to, I was getting, uh, I was reaching Silverest, I couldn't feel a thing. I still haven't yet started feeling a thing. Uh, that's probably because uh, these last few days I've been consistently cycling 25 to 30 kilometers at least. Uh, but of course, uh, the psoas issue just started now if you are into endurance cycling you probably agree with me that uh, the thing everybody dread, dread, dreads the most is is not getting tired of cycling continuously for more than two hours but rather they saw us right you know so this idea that when you sit down for a prolonged period of time your behind becomes sore which is what's happening to me right now I'm trying to see if I can cycle all standing from here on at least for the next what five maybe ten minutes or something and I know what you're thinking you know buy professional cycling gear or something thing is I am putting on a cycling short uh, or cycling shorts which have extra padding doesn't seem to help though Ugh. and by my estimate I've probably covered what? probably close to i say 30 maybe 40 kilometers so far that's roughly half the distance I'm supposed to cover so I'm remaining with another 40 cage.
very little to see along this stretch it's uh, one of those uh, insanely long stretches it's right about the time of the day when there's little traffic along the greatest road so most uh, most vehicles we tend to move around this stretch maybe early in the morning or something if it's traffic coming from the opposite direction it will be mostly uh, buses you know, so, so called intercity transit buses right uh, a little bit like uh, the ones that will start off from Chipata around 5, 6 or so uh, come check it out one of these fine days so horizon properties has been on the rampage selling land right uh. So if you're ever thinking of getting into endurance cycling one of the other things you want to probably make sure you have in place before you start off is uh, obviously depending on the on the route you're taking uh, you probably want to let people know where exactly it is you're going which is uh, what I normally do uh, especially when I'm on paths such as this one so there's there's a, a, a certain portions of the Kasisika tender road which are a bit sketchy well, not really sketchy but lonely you know uh, last time I passed through there last week I think I only came across less than half a dozen vehicles along the stretch uh, that's a stretch of about maybe 10-15 kilometers or something yeah Something else you probably want to do is uh, carry enough water. I cannot stress that enough. I normally, I normally carry about uh, four liters. So the idea is uh, a liter for each each 20 kilometer that I cover. Yeah? Uh, and of course, snacks, right? I tend to reward myself when I uh, reach certain designated milestones like for instance once I get to Katende market I will munch on uh, one of my three energy bars that I have in my backpack uh, and of course always make sure you have uh, a mobile device with you so I find it useful myself because uh, many a times what I'll do is I'll I'll veer, I'll, I'll veer off the, the beaten path so I normally plan plan the paths I'm, I'm going to cycle through but occasionally I get 
Ate? Mulai dapat jalan mana? Eh, spot. No, ni spot. Ni ni trend nak spot apa? Ni trend nak kena spot in the next few weeks. Oh. Eh. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Okay. Okay, bapa. So clearly, he could tell that I'm doing a bit of endurance cycling, right? I have uh, patches of, well, I have a backpack with two bottles of water and of course the bike gave it away. <laughs> I was asking if I'm headed to Chipata, right? In my dreams. But incidentally, uh, I'm thinking of cov covering twice the distance I'm covering today uh, over the, the, long, um, the long weekend that's coming up. Uh, so Easter is a good Friday and Easter Monday and whatnot. So we'll see. Maybe I might go as far as uh, Rufunsa or Jambi. All right, love this. Elephant in the room. All right, let's see. What else would you want to carry when you're cycling? Let's say more than 50 k's. Well, so I was talking about a uh, smartphone. I find it incredibly useful. And so what I tend to do is I download an offline copy of the area where I'm going to cycle through, just in case I decide to. Sort of like veer off and explore back roads. It's something I really love to do. Um, the fortunate thing though is that it's pretty hard to look up information about safety, right? So I mostly wing it. I, uh, it's not like I'm. Uh, a well-built guy, but uh, I'm reasonably built, so people would probably think uh, think twice about wanting to attack me or something. If you get my drift, I tend to mark it. Just going to cycle, adjusting to pretend to mark it. I don't think I'm buying anything from here today. Just thought people might want to see what goes on here. What a mirror. I wish uh, and cook and all sweet potatoes, right? Yes. Ah, uh, gonna move up ahead. All right. Oh, pick me up. See here. Almost uh took a wrong turn there. Alright. Looks around here. So if you if you I'm guessing once you watch, uh, once you watch the uh, first segment of of this loop, you'll probably be wondering why it was I was gasping for air, and you know, so like I said, I that was Sunday last week. Prior to that, I think the last time I cycled was almost over a month or something, uh, four weeks. It's not that bad though. I mean, I can hardly feel a thing here. There we go. Very decent portion of Pacifica Tender Road here. 